Today we're going to be talking about pyramids, specifically the volume of pyramids. When you look at a pyramid from top to the very bottom in the middle, you are looking at something known as the height. When you look at the bottom rectangle of the pyramid, you are looking at something known as the base. And when you fill in that base, you can find the area of the base. Our final formula then is V, which is volume, equals one-third base times height. Let's look at an example now of how you might apply this in a practice problem. Let's say that the height of the pyramid is 10, and let's say that the sides of the rectangle are 8 centimeters, and let's also put the centimeters in for the 10 height, and also the other side is 5 centimeters. How would we solve this problem? Well, first we have to go back to our formula and remember that V equals 1 third base times height. To solve for the area of the entire base, you have to multiply the length times the width, which is 8 times 5, the two sides of the rectangle, which equals 40. And then you plug all of those things back into the original equation so that V is going to equal 1 third of the height, which is 10, times the base, which is 40. When you multiply 10 times 40, you get 400. And then, when you, and then to solve for one-third, you have to divide by 3, which is 133.33. And that is your final answer in centimeters. This is how you solve pyramid problems.